Hey everybody, Merry Christmas Eve. Meteorologist Dave Downey here. Uh, we're starting to thaw out somewhat. We've made it back into the teens for highs today, uh, but more snow is on the way. Not much. I think mainly less than an inch, maybe two inches for some areas. Uh, we'll show you that snowfall map in just a second. Back into the 40s this week before New Year's Eve arrives Saturday. And a couple different uh, rain, maybe storm chances possible later on this week. I don't think we're, it's going to be snow uh, for New Year's Eve. Uh, but we'll see some rain later on next week. Current temps and wind chills wanted to show these because, hey, we're out of the single digits in Des Moines. 10 right now, uh, at, right now as of 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. But wind chills across the board still in the single digits. Wind chill advisory is out tonight, goes in effect until tomorrow morning. Uh, I did some math here. So we were under zero degrees, less than zero degrees in the negative territory for 33 hours in a row in terms of the air temperatures. The wind chill still going 66 hours and counting below zero as of uh, 4 p.m. today. 10 p.m. on the 21st, I think, was when we first went below zero in the wind chill department and we're still there and we're going to stay there probably uh, until tomorrow afternoon. Lows tonight, uh, pretty much everybody's below zero once again, but highs tomorrow improve. Uh, upper teens, maybe a couple 20s in spots, especially the far southwest you go where there's A, less snowpack and B, uh, where the low pressure system tomorrow will line up a little bit better. Uh, these are the past five really cold Christmases dating all the way back to 1983. Look at that day. The low was negative 15. The high was a goose egg. We'll do a little bit better than these tomorrow. Uh, this will be the coldest Christmas morning, though, since 2000, since the turn of the century with lows tomorrow morning uh, below zero. Uh, warm up pretty quickly. Sun in the morning, but clouds build in the afternoon. That's when snow arrives. Skies clear out tonight. A few high clouds tomorrow morning. That's about it. The snow arrives in the afternoon to evening hours. This will be a nice backdrop for any Christmas Eve dinner plans you have tomorrow evening. Uh, the snow is right around 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Uh, then there's a bit of a break. Some more snow possible overnight, Sunday night into Monday. Uh, but I don't think this is really going to cause any travel impacts because, uh, you know, not really going to be a whole lot of people working. That's when Christmas is actually observed. It's the federal holiday on Monday. Uh, might clear out of the state by sunrise, I think. The highest totals might be to the southeast of the metro. You see where the snow is hanging around for a little bit longer on Monday morning. Uh, I think Des Moines sees an inch, maybe two inches in some spots, especially uh, to the northeast of the metro. Here is that snowfall forecast map. Two to three possible east and northeast, especially of central Iowa, up to two or three inches in places like Mason City, Waterloo, Cedar Rapids, Grinnell. I think the farther southwest you go, the less of a chance there will be uh, for accumulating snowfall. Highs back into the low 40s by either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, but with that, will come rain chances. The wind's back off tonight, so wind chills only, in quotation marks, in the negative teens. We get out of the negatives in the wind chill department tomorrow with some afternoon to evening snow highs in the upper teens. Holt Plumbing and Heating 10-day forecast. We'll call Thursday mild, because hey, we're back in the 40s for the first time in a while. Highs on Thursday, nine degrees above average. Late next week into the weekend looks wet, especially New Year's Eve itself on Saturday.